guys, it's Linnea with a video for Penguin Palace, and today I'm going to be using some of their new products and really featuring the Vintage Basket Stencil. And this is new from their fall and winter line of products. So one of the ways that I love to really make a background shine and to stretch a stencil is to use multiple colors in my stenciling. So I've sprayed the back of my stencil with Pixie Spray, which is just a light tack spray that'll hold my stencil in place while I ink blend over it. And I have a piece of cardstock that is larger than what I need, and you'll see why later on. I'm starting off with some Twisted Citron Distress Oxide Ink and a small ink blending tool. And this is kind of like an oval shape. I chose this one because it was easy to get into those little X's. I could turn it one way and blend back and forth and then turn it the other way and get that full X shape. You'll see that I did get some overlapping into the little diamond shapes, but that's okay. I'll come in with an even smaller ink blending brush and the Distress Oxide Squeezed Lemonade ink and fill in those remaining little areas. And when I'm done, I will pull off this stencil and you're gonna be able to see this multicolored background. So fun and so cool and it really shows what you can do with a stencil. So the reason I used a piece of cardstock larger than what I needed is because I'm going to be using the largest cross stitch dots die from Penguin Palace to die cut this down to be the size of my whole card front. And whenever I want to die cut a piece to be the size of the entire card front, I always try to work with a piece of cardstock larger than what I need. Once I had my background stenciling done, I needed something cute to go on top. So I'm going to be using the Track and Field Chapter 1 stamp set, and this is new from their fall and winter release. I'll just color up these little turtles really easily using some Copic markers, just using two color blending for most of the, I think actually for all of the parts because I love coloring little images. They don't require a lot of effort and I'm not a fabulous colorist. <laughs> so two color blending is where I live. I also stamped out that little sentiment in the bottom, and this stamp set has a bunch of sentiments, but they are pieced separately, so you can piece together any sentiments that you want. So for this one, I chose I Want to Run to You, and I stamped that out on a line so that I could easily cut it together and then just use my scissors to trim it apart. I'm finishing up coloring these little turtles here. I'm finishing up with the dark green for their shells, and then I'll come in with some yellow for their headbands and for the actual baton. I thought the yellow would match the yellow in the background. Once they're all colored, I'm just going to use the coordinating die along with some low tack tape to die cut out these cute little turtles. And that is going to be what I'll use on the front of my card. So I'm just going to finish this up really simply. Like I said, I want the focus to be on the background. So I trimmed down that sentiment. I added it with some foam tape and I'm also adding the little turtles with foam tape. And then I will come in with my Spectrum Noir Clear Shimmer Glitter Pen and add some shimmer to these turtles. And that's going to finish off this card. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can head over to my blog for still photos and for product links to the new Penguin Palace release. I will see you guys next time. Bye!